Camtasia will let you create several different types of movements with your media. These three types are called transitions, behaviors, and animations. Each type comes with presets you can drag and drop onto your media to get the desired effect. Now, one of these types of movements are meant to be used to draw the viewer's attention to a particular area of the screen. These movements are called animations. In this video, we're going to jump into the animations panel. I'll show you how to zoom in and out of your footage, and I'll show you how to easily create custom animations using Camtasia's built-in visual effects. Welcome to this Tech Talk, my name is Steve Kwasinski. If you're new here, this is a video in a series on the Camtasia video editor. If you want to learn something specific about Camtasia, head over to my website and submit a request for a free video tutorial. For now, we're going to dive into the animations panel here in Camtasia. Here's the quickest way to zoom into your footage. Select Animations, then select the Zoom and Pan tab. Next, use the playhead to scrub to the area of your footage where you want the zoom to end. We'll use the zoom options to focus in on what's in my hand. Adjust the bounding box to zoom in on one area of the screen. We'll call this the focus area. Once you've set the focus area, you'll see this arrow show up on your media in the timeline. More on what this arrow means a little bit later. Hit the spacebar to play back your video. Once you're happy with the results, you'll want to adjust the end of the clip to return the zoom back to normal. Position the playhead where you want the animation to finish. Click the Scale to Fit button in the Animations panel, and hit the spacebar to play back your video. That looks good, but let's take a closer look at what this arrow can do. Every animation creates an arrow with two dots. If we click the dot on the tip of the arrow, the Properties panel shows you all the properties for the media at the end of the movement. Any of these properties can be adjusted to create completely custom animations. Here's how it works. Drag and drop the custom animation preset onto your media. Click the dot at the tip of the arrow to edit the properties of the end of the movement. For this custom animation, I'm going to slowly desaturate the footage so it ends up grayscale. Now, you can also adjust the length of the animation by changing the length of the arrow. Here, we'll click and drag the arrow to make it bigger, which will then make the animation happen for roughly 5 seconds. Position your playhead at the beginning of the animation and play it back to make sure you like how it looks. Animations are a great way to customize the look and feel of your video. Now, if you want more help with Camtasia, check out either of the two videos on the screen right now. And if you want some one-on-one -on -one training, check out the link in the description below. As always, thanks for the click. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next video.